Jason LeDuc, back with you here, helping you be the kind of boss you always wish you had when you were starting out in your career. And today we're going to talk about leadership styles. Actually, for the next few weeks, the next few videos we're gonna do, we're gonna see, do a series on leadership styles. And so you've probably heard about leadership styles. There's a bunch of different types of them. We're gonna get into a lot of them. I don't know if we'll get into all of them. But what I want you to think about when it comes to leadership styles, I don't want you to think about leadership styles as there's one leadership style you have to pick and then live with that, stay with that leadership style the rest of your career. Even though we call them leadership styles, I'd like you to think about these as different approaches to leadership, different tactics, different techniques you use in leadership, depending on what is going on. And so that's kind of going to be the theme as we go through the next few weeks of educational videos is don't get boxed into one leadership style. Think about how you can use them in your own individual personal leadership style and do the right thing in the right situation. So today, just to get it out of the way, we're going to talk about the authoritative leadership style. And now the authoritative leadership style is very much the old school, I tell you what to do and you do it leadership style. Now, a lot of people don't like this style because let's be honest, a lot of people don't like getting told what to do and ordered around every day. But the leader, the authoritative leadership style gets a bad rap and there are some times where it's appropriate. When your team doesn't have a lot of skill or experience and needs to be told exactly what to do to get something done, that's a good time for the authoritative leadership style. When your team is in a time critical situation and there's gotta be a very clear vision that gets executed very quickly, that's a good time for the authoritative leadership style. So think about the authoritative leadership style as something you want to use when there is a very clear vision or outcome that needs to occur and it needs to occur in a very specific way. If something needs to be held in compliance very tightly, like in our nuclear mission, missile mission in the United States Air Force, where we want things done exactly the same way, exactly the right way every single time and rightly so, that's a good time you might want to use the authoritative leadership style. Remember, authoritative leadership style is about clear vision and clear, almost perfect execution where there's no doubt uh, no room for error. Now, what the authoritative leadership style doesn't do is it doesn't give a lot of room for innovation. It doesn't give a lot of room for creativity. It doesn't give a lot of room for getting to the best answer. It's just getting to the answer that the boss came up with. And sometimes that's okay. I'll give you an example of when I was deployed to Iraq, we were walking over, my team and I, we were walking over to the US Embassy across the street from our forward operating base. We were walking over there for dinner because they had a much better chow hall than we did. And we were walking over and the incoming rocket attack sirens went off. And so when those sirens go off, the first thing you want to do is go around and look for a shelter to get into and get to that shelter immediately. So there were a group of us kind of walking, joking around as we were walking over to the chow hall and we were walking ahead. And one of our guys was behind. I think he was texting on his phone or something like that. And he was behind. And so about, about 10 or 20 paces. So we heard the sirens. We all looked up and we started looking around for shelters. Well, Donnie, who is 10 or 20 paces behind us, he had a much clearer picture of the world around us and saw which was the closest shelter and which one we should go to. And he said, that one, go. And so we did. So we didn't stand around discussing what's the best leadership style to use here? What do we all think the best course of action is? How do we think we can do this in an innovative way? Donnie said, go there, and we went there. It was a really clear example of the right time and place to use the authoritative leadership style. So, now that you know a little bit more about the authoritative leadership style, when the right time to use it is, and when times that it may not be so helpful are, go off and give it a try in the right situations. If you like this video, like, comment, and share it. Send it on to someone who can use it. If you know someone who could use a little help uh, perfecting their authoritative tools and techniques in their leadership style, go ahead and send it to them. If you have any comments or questions, slide into my DMs, I don't mind. I hope this was helpful in developing your leader's mindset onward and upward.